first off, I mean, congrats to Clemson. I mean, they they were the the deserving team today. Um, you know, they kind of have a little formula going now. They're kind of jumping people in these games. It's three games in a row that they've gotten up, and you know, forced teams to play from behind. And uh, you know, we dug deep and and we we got ourselves back in the game, but we were just never able to take that next step. So you know, they, you know, executed a few really good plays down the stretch. They got us on. I mean, they banked in a three. You know, and, and, and those things make it tough um, to, to overcome. So congrats to them and wish them the best of luck going forward. All right, we'll open up for questions first for the student athletes. We'll begin in the front here. Uh, Chase Waite, news for us online. Um, I know you guys didn't, for the shooting tonight, maybe wasn't what you guys were expecting. Um, Balo, I know the rebounding tonight, double-double watch. Um, how big is rebounding for you to this team and just rebounding in general for um, for basketball? You know, rebounding win games. And um, I wish we did a little bit better job on offensive glass and also on the defensive end because they took like three or two off the offensive rebound rows. So those kind of like are killers, you know, and I wish we did a bit, little bit better job boxing them out. We'll go to the fourth row over here. Addison Kohlenbach, Arizona PBS. Jaden, this is for you. You were kind of the X Factor spark plug coming off the bench tonight, relentless attacking. What was kind of your mentality going into the second half? Uh, you know, we got to a little slow start in the beginning, so uh, at halftime, we were just harping out on dig deep, dig deep getting stops and uh, just trying to do whatever it takes to help my team. That's really it. Go ahead in the second row. Uh, Saul Bookman from PHNX Sports. Uh, Coach, you know, this is the second time you've gotten to the Sweet 16. What did you do differently from the first experience, last year's experience, to this year? And then what would you have maybe possibly changed moving forward? Well, you know, we'll, we'll analyze all that stuff after the season. But I'm proud of these guys. These guys did an amazing job this year. They're a great team. I mean, they're a team that, you know, we had the ability to get to a Final Four, and we didn't. And, and that happens. So like, it's nothing to, to look down upon. There, there's probably eight or 10 teams that can say that this year, and only you know, you know, three or four of them will probably actually get to the Final Four. And we were one of them. So I'm proud of these guys. Um, they dug back. They dug deep you know, all season. We worked really hard on kind of taking the next steps of our culture of the Arizona basketball. I mean, really hard. And we were very intentional with it. And, and these guys were great participants, and they really allowed me to kind of continue to build on the foundation you know, of what we started at Arizona and what was there before us. So I'm thankful for that, and, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to continue to build on that foundation. We're going to continue to, to, to get teams that are this competitive, and you know what? Uh, our day in the sun will come. Any questions for the student athletes right here in the front row? Dennis Raymond, news for us online. Uh, Jaden, can you talk about the way the team kept battling back um, despite being down double digits? Yeah, like we, you know, we harp on toughness, and uh, at the beginning we weren't so tough, but I feel like at the end, you know, we did a great job, of, you know, battling and trying to get stops. But you know, Clemson just did a great job with their plays and and their shot making, and we couldn't really get over the hump. We got had to lead a couple times, but you know, they kept battling as well. Any other questions in the room here for the student athletes? Go ahead in the back over here. I'm Ms. Durlock, LA Sentinel. I know this is like the last year of the Pac-12 as, as we know it. Like, what does it mean to you to be kind of like the last remaining Pac-12 team in the, um, in the tournament? Um, what does it mean to you? What does the conference mean to you? How, does it made, how has it made you better? I just say, you know, being the last Pac-12 team, you know, you know, proud of the guys and proud of our coaches and our culture. We've been harping at them all, all year. You know, we weren't able to, you know, achieve the goal that we wanted to achieve, but, you know, still a tight group, still love each other, and, you know, still love each other off the court, so it's good. Go ahead here in the second row. Jaden, this question's for you. Uh, you know, you came in from Alabama, uh, unknown expectations of, amongst this fan base, at least. Uh, your development over the year, and then to end it like this, basically trying to carry the team in the second half, what, what, have, what has been your process, and how do you feel about your year overall and heading into next year? Uh, you know, I say shout out to the coaches and the players for, you know, taking me in and helping me develop my game. You know, I was familiar with, you know, Coach, Coach Lloyd and, you know, the culture. 
and just to have a fresh start kind of seemed like. And, you know, they did a great job of helping me uh, achieve my goals, but, you know, still got an next year and, you know, just love these guys. Any final questions for the student athletes? All right, Lamar. Jaden, thank you. All right, we'll open up for questions for Coach Lloyd. Right here in the second row. Uh, Jordan Mendoza, USA Today Sports. Uh, Coach, um, wasn't the best night shooting from beyond the arc, um, but you guys were able to do a lot um, in the post. Were you trying to get your guys to like drive more in and stop taking uh, so many three-point attempts? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought Clemson did a good job and you know kind of got us on our heels offensive, offensively early in the game, and, uh, and and we settled for a lot of tough shots. And then that's what kind of allowed them to get out because I think I think our defense was actually okay early and it was kind of low scoring early and we're right there, and then you know they got it going offensively a little bit and we just never quite did until later in the in the first half and yeah in the second half we made a con more concerted effort we wanted to attack those guys move the ball attack drive closeouts you know pl play with our feet in the ground in the paint and our guys did a much better job uh, uh, of that in the second half. Any other questions for Coach Lloyd? We'll go to the back. Brian Peterson, uh, Easy Desert Swarm. Uh, when when you were able to make the run to start the second half, briefly take the lead, and then comes it kind of punches back, gets up, and then you tie it again. Did, did it just feel like uh, you had enough punches to just keep and maybe push them aside? I mean, I, I thought we were fine. You know, I mean, you know, we go, we didn't play well to start the game. We're only down eight at half. You know, as you guys, you know, the follows closely. We've had a couple other games where we've been down nineteen or twenty. You know, and and been able to come back and win them. So I thought we were fine. I thought we were well positioned for, for how we started the, the game. And we made that first run in the second half, which is great. And, you know, from there, you know, they're going to probably make a little run. But then, you know, the, hopefully it's a little one. And then we make the next run. And we can kind of, you know, eventually build a four, six, or eight-point lead. And we just were never kind of able to do that. And, and, and so um, Clemson uh, gets a ton of credit for that. Go ahead here in the front. Coach John W. Davis with the Orange County Register here in the Los Angeles area. Um, you out rebounded them, you know, scored more points than fast break, second chance, points in the paint, like all of these things that you normally see uh, when teams win. Yeah. Um, other than maybe the shooting percentage, what do you feel like was the difference? Well, just the, you're right, it's the shooting percentage. I mean, you know, we were, I you know, I think our, our, our starting guys that shoot threes were two for 23. You know, which is a, you know, a lot to overcome. And you know, I, I feel like you know some of them were good looks and shots we've made, you know, all season. And today they just didn't go in. And you know, so I I, I think our guys deserve a ton of credit. I mean, to have that sort of shooting night and uh, to get yourself in the game where you have a position to win it, I think is incredible. And and it just shows the resiliency and the toughness of these guys. And you know, we kind of had to adjust plans, and and our guys were willing participants in that. So um, I'm, I'm really proud of them for giving themselves a chance to win because, you know, especially without JB playing the way he did, I mean, maybe maybe we lose by 14, 16 points. But JB got in there and, you know, that, that we were down to the last minute and gave ourselves a chance. So uh, on a night where we didn't shoot the ball well. We'll go to the third row. Yeah, Tommy, Steve Rivera, AllSportsTucson.com. When you have a chance to, to reflect on this year, what do you think will come to mind for yourself? Just love. I mean, I love these guys. Um, I, I love the the culture we're starting to really build upon, you know, at Arizona. I, I, I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm real big on, you know, eventually getting some compound return on our investment, and, and I think we're going to get that. I think we're doing all the right things. Um, you know, obviously we're not perfect, and, and, and no one is, and we don't ever want to be perfect. We just want to be making progress. So um, I, I love where we're at. Um, you know, I, I, I think um, – you know, I wasn't ready to take a breath, but I'm going to take a breath. And then, you know, we'll reevaluate, and we're going to have a, another really good off season, and uh, continue to build. Go ahead, second row. Coach, this all from PHNX Sports. Uh, you know, Keyshawn and Caleb, you know, provided a lot for your team this year. When you take a, a step back and look at their production and what they contributed to this program, what is your ultimate takeaway going to be? I mean, they're incredible guys. I'm, I'm just so thankful that um, – you know, they, they, they took a chance on coming to Arizona and, and, and play for our staff. I mean, um, you know, it, it was an incredible experience um, all, all off season and, and season long. So I'm just thankful. I mean, it, it just it reinforces to me that, 
you can do things the right way, run the right culture, and and put yourself put your team in position to to compete at the highest level. So we're we're just going to double down on all that. And and those guys reaffirm my belief that we need to continue to do it with great high character guys. We have time for two more questions. For those of us joining on Zoom, use the raise hand function. Anybody here in the room? We have one in the back. The uh, the last few possessions defensively, I, I believe that Umar was out. Was that uh, partly to avoid if they were to foul him? And then did it just lead to like a breakdown? We, not necessarily. You know, we were just trying to give it a different look. You know, we we're trying to pick up our, our pressure up the court a little bit. And you know, you're at that point, you're hoping maybe you get opportunistic with a loose pass, and you know, someone can break on that. You know, I mean, just things of that nature. We we're kind of probably going to be in a little bit more of a pressing mode, and maybe get a switch. You know, all five positions instead of the the you know four positions and. Um, but hey, you know, into Clemson, you know, kind of, they 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 found an answer down the stretch, and uh, they were able to get like, I think, you know, maybe three baskets off slips, you know, versus the switches, you know, which, you know, we just didn't execute well enough, and they get credit for for executing. Any final questions? All right, guys. All right, thanks, coach. Thank you.